Today we have an unboxing that was one expected, and if you follow me on Twitter, you already know what it is. But and I was gonna make a video about this on why you should get Apple Care. Uh, my iPod Classic stopped working, and I'll explain to you right now what actually happened. That was weird how I said actually, but whatever. So basically, what happened was, you know, I was going about my normal business. I had just put some new Beatles songs into my uh, iTunes library, so I was pretty psyched. And I put in my iPod overnight, and when I woke up in the morning yesterday, I realized that it had not been charging or syncing. It wasn't even connected to the computer at all, even though it was plugged in. Um, so I was like, all right. So I restarted it, and then what happens is that it pretty much restored my iPod. Except the weird thing was that it said there was zero kilobytes free. So I was really worried because I do love that iPod. Um, so I thought I was going to have to get a new one. Um, so I went to the Genius Bar today. Oh, and by the way, every time I connected it to iTunes, it uh, crashed iTunes. And whenever I ejected it and disconnected it, uh, the iPod Classic from the computer, um, it restarted again and did the same restoring thing. So, basically, um, I went to the Apple Store, it was a quick two minute thing. The connect, he, the guy said there are the, either two problems that could be the source. The connector pins are bent, which he didn't see, or the hard drive is messed up. And that happens with hard drives, as you might have saw in DRB UK's video. And I do love the iPod Classic, but he said um, it was completely broken. Since it was not under warranty, I could either pay $130 to get the same model <clears throat> and still have that risk of it being, uh, you know, breakable or more likely to be messed up in the hard drive area or spend $180 or actually recycle the iPod, get 10% off of a new iPod. So. 1790 off a 16 gigabyte iPod Nano, which is what I got at the Apple store today. I mean, I was really sad about it, but I mean, I recycled it, so it's and everything, but I really couldn't do anything. I said some last words to it. And the reason why I went from the iPod Classic to the Nano is because, first of all, it's cost, and I really didn't expect get to get this today. Uh, my parents rewarded me because they said I was doing such a good job in school. But now I'm kind of feeling a little spoiled, and I don't blame you if you leave stuff like that in the comments. But So I got this because I realized I don't really watch a lot of my videos that I have in iTunes. Actually, on my iPod, I just watch them in front row or whatever. So I'm only going to put a few videos on this, and I have like 10 gigabytes in my iTunes library. So... Um, that's why I want this. And the video camera is nice, the FM radio. So let's get into it. Peel this off. I'm so careful about this. This is my second iPod Nano. First iPod I had was a second gen blue iPod Nano, which I had just recently sold, actually. Then it was the iPod Classic 80 gig, which I enjoyed very much, as I mentioned before. And this is the thing I had trouble with in the unboxing of my sister's iPod Touch, this really hard to open thing right here. Uh, bend it, yeah, okay. See, the guide actually helps here. It wasn't helping me when I got the iPod Touch. So, that's it. I like the finish, it's so nice. And so small, and that's what I like about it too. And there's the camera right there. And it has a speaker, which is really nice. And if you put it to full volume, it's actually, if not louder, just as loud um, as the iPod Touch speaker, which is really nice. There is no volume rocker, but who cares about that? So inside here, we have... <clears throat> Ooh, mini Apple stickers. I've never seen these before. Awesome. We have start here manuals and stuff. Let's actually see what... Oh, it's just a how-to guide. Important product information. 
and this time I am getting Apple Care. Not yet, but I will soon. Dock adapter, which I have an older dock from my dad's third generation iPod. So I don't need that. Headphones, don't need. Got those awesome Sony ones and dock connector, which it's always good to have an extra one around. Um, so here's the iPod. Can turn it on. And sorry if this is long, I just wanted to explain why I did get a new iPod. So just so I could show you that it's not just because I can and I'm not just doing it for the hell of it. Hold on, I'm just in a chair right now, so alright. Let me So English US obviously and then instantly like that, boom. That's what I love about the iPod Classic and the Nano. It's easy setup. You don't have to connect it to a computer first. So, obviously I don't have any music on here. But let's test out the radio now. Oh. Yeah. That sucks. So I have to use these for the radio. Wow. Okay whatever but so does that I wonder if that means that I have to listen to it with headphones I know you have to have them plugged in but so now I can do the radio and I did plug in the headphones so there we go is it coming out Oh, okay. They weren't plugged in all the way. Um, tag songs, live pause, all that stuff. I'm going to unplug this because I don't even like those headphones. Even if I, you know, did have them. Alright, so let's test out the video camera. Something I'm interested in. It's not something I'm necessarily going to use all the time. but So we'll put some test footage in right here. I guess you start using the center button. So now... The recording. I'm just gonna take a shot of myself. Hello, test video. Woo. Um, that's the camera. And we're done. Then so it saves it, and we'll go to the menu. Enough of that. And of my ugly face. So, pretty nice. Unboxing the iPod Nano. Yeah. Comment, rate, and subscribe. And don't unsubscribe because of that weird voice. But, yeah.